I did it. I did it. Yes. What? The Godskin Duo can be found near a gray site called the Dragon Temple, which is a part of the Crumbling Farum Azula. To get to the Crumbling Farum Azula, you'll first need to kill the Fire Giant. Fire Giant is located here. Behind the Fire Giant, there is a large stone chalice. There is a chain that acts as a bridge. Jump on that chain, get onto the chalice, and hug the left rim. At the end, you'll find a grace. Rest there and talk to Melina. She's going to ask you if you're ready to commit a cardinal sin. Click I'm ready. Melina will take you to the crumbling farm Azula. Continue through the area until you hit the Dragon Temple Grace, and then get ready for the boss. The duo shares health, so when you hit either one of the priests, the joint health at the bottom will start to go down, but when it comes to their phase two, it's individual. So if you get uh, one priest down to 50%, uh, he'll go phase two, but if you get the joint health at the bottom down to 50%, they both don't go to uh, phase two. So. You know, you can just kill the same priest over and over again, and that's the fight if you want to. Note that the priests do come back to life. If you kill one, the other will resurrect the dead priest. I suggest focusing on one of the priests, whichever you think is easier. I thought the slender priest is an uh, easier fight, because at 50%, they will go into their phase two and get dangerous uh, moves. I think the priest's uh, second phase moves are a little bit easier to handle. Um, so I focused him down, I think three times. And then once I killed him the third time, I then just hit the last, um, larger looking priest uh, a couple times. And then that was the fight. A crucial thing to realize is that there are six pillars, three on each side of the room that you can use as cover. So what I did is I, you know, went behind one of the pillars, uh, you know, the larger priest might go left. The slender priest might go right around the pillar. And so I would just use that object to keep the one of the priests away from me while I focus down the other. The pillars can break. So if you get a priest below 50%, he'll go phase two and he'll start to use heavier moves. Um, those heavier moves can destroy these objects. So um, either try and avoid having the priest use those moves around those pillars or just you know use it efficiently like try to kill them as quickly as possible and um, don't let them kill all the pillars in their first phase too because you're gonna need them throughout the fight also every time you heal it's almost like they're cued to throw uh, their fireball at you so whenever you're trying to heal in this fight make sure that you have some cover between you and the two priests so you can use these pillars for that as well all right here's the fight start to finish I gotta kill this guy, Joe. Okay. Pull him, pull him down this back of the way you got another half the up there. I have to run all this fucking way back. Oh my god. There's no way shrine up there, Joe? Like, past the night? Uh, I think there might be.
he just fucked me up and killed me. So there's like a stake of a ring or something Yeah. Whatever. Later. So what's over here, Joe? Are we going to that red marker that you put? Uh, one sec. Pretty sweaty right now. Joe, a washcloth, please. Man is sweaty. I did it! I did it! Yes! What? Smithing stone, miner's bell bearing four. Ooh. 